Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've been sent these very interesting Blitzwolf BW FYE1 Bluetooth earphones. I've heard of Blitzwolf before as I've actually done a first glance hands on with the BW SDB2 sound bar, which I must admit was a fantastic product. So today it's going to be fascinating to see how these earphones hold up. Truth be told, I'm not a big fan of bulky type wireless earphones as my ears just don't seem to hold them in tight enough. But you know what? There's always a first time for everything. Okay, so the box. Everything is pretty much simplistic, with exception to the QR code to the rear, which when scanned takes you to the Blitzwolf website. Inside the box, everything comes full, well, foam protected. There's one rectangle box which includes a very short and thin micro USB to USB charge cable. There are, if you can get them out the bag, two small and two large spare earbuds. There's a 18 months manufacturer's warranty and one user manual, which I must admit has very small print. Is there anything else? Nope. Well, let's just get rid of this stuff. And let's look at, well, the charge case. There you go, Blitzwolf to the front. I must say, I actually do like the initial look of this charge case. It'll look even better with this outside protection peeled off. Let me just peel that off just now. Oh, nice. So looking at this charge case, the rear we have one micro USB charging port. To the right of that, we have some capacity indicator charging lights. This case does indeed have a magnetic lid. Opening it up with the wireless earphones themselves. I do hope these blinking lights will go off once they're paired. Otherwise, it looked like a jumbo jet coming into land. So let's just take them out and have a look. So as you can see, there's the charging pins inside. Everything seems to be molded, even on the inner lid. So on the inside of these earphones, we have an inner ear flap, which should help with stability when these earphones are in your ear. Well, I hope so anyway. You can see we have the four charging pins, which once these earphones are connected inside the case, will begin to charge. You can see there with a charging LED light. You do have large earbuds already fitted, so yes, indeed, these earphones come with three sets of earbuds. On the outside of these earphones, we have a multifunction power button just in the middle. As mentioned, the LED light, which will show power on and pairing mode. And to the bottom, we have a small pin microphone just here. So pairing is quite simple. Take both earphones out if you intend to use these earphones in stereo mode. Pairing is automatic once they're synced, but as they're not synced today, what we're going to do is we're basically going to hook them up to this laptop. What you'll notice is once they're took out the case, you'll have a blinking red and blue light on one particular earphone. Just the day it's on the right one. So let's turn the Bluetooth on, look for a new device. As you can see here, it comes up with BWFYE1R, which is the right earphone. So nothing to worry once they're connected, it will both hook up automatically. And then all you got to do is press connect. And there you go, the device is ready to go. It's just setting get up now and let's get playing some music. So the first thing I've got to comment on is the fitting and comfort of these BWFYE ones. For just under three hours continuous use, they felt comfortable and sat perfect within my ears. Like I mentioned before, I personally have a problem testing earphones that are quite similar to these ones today, as most are quite simply heavy and easily fall out when active, no matter what size earbuds I use. These Blitzwolf earphones though were surprisingly snug. I did work and train with these earphones in. I did adjust them just a few times with a little pressure, and you know what, they didn't fall out once, no matter what I did. Check this out. You see? That's just crazy. Audio clarity was really good. Sound level was quite high. Bass level was not too intense though, but was very much present. The mids are quite good, although I did find them a tiny bit high for my liking, with my perfect preferred audio level with these Bluetooth earphones sitting at 85% volume with most genres of music that I played. For example, hip-hop was okay, but bands like The Prodigy that I listened to, the mid-range tend to take those tones a tiny bit high for my liking. The bass came in with a low bass rating of 28Hz, a triple high of 15,100Hz, which on a scale between 20 to 20,000 is pretty good. If I'm totally honest, I did actually notice a deviation in frequency response with the audio levels, with the audio diverting slightly more to the right ear. Don't get me wrong, the relative polarity between both drivers was fantastic, but like I said, I noticed that deviation only after two hours use, just slightly a bit more audio in the right ear. 
So how many hours usage did I get? Well, out of a full charge, I did almost get to the three hours which was listed in the specifications. Although I did use 100% volume, I did get to two hours 45, which isn't too bad. That's not the three hours, but with 100% volume, it's to be expected. With the Bluetooth distance, I got about eight meters away from my device before the audio started to break, with the audio fully cutting off at around 10 meters. Overall, after using these earphones over the past three days, I've got to say that these BWFYE ones are very well made and fantastically presented in the premium package of the case and box. I do wish the audio quality just had that little bit more bass, just to have a bit more, you know, thump. But there's not really much I can be negative about. I didn't find them uncomfortable whatsoever while in my ears, no matter how long I wore them for which is a good sign of great quality earphones. A lot of thought has been put into the design of how these earphones actually sit in your ears. And personally, as I've had problems with earphones in the past fitting inside my ears and actually just dropping out randomly, I've got to say that not once did these earphones drop out over the past three days. I'm gonna continue using these earphones just to see if any problems do arise, but up to now, actually is pretty good. I think the case is a snazzy little design. And as you can see just here, it's now charging. And you know what guys, if I was to rate them out of my usual ratings out of 10, then today I simply got to give them a uh, 8 out of 10. So yeah guys, that's my review done for today, but you know what, let me just take this moment to big up Havoc's soul. So carrying no God, but it all shows in the light, so you like it dark. You hooked us up with the tunes today. So it's some real interesting music which I've been playing most of the week. So go and check them out. I'll leave the links in the video description down below. So guys, make sure you go and hit them up after this video. And while you're there, please go ahead and share this video wherever possible. Go ahead and subscribe. Making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys over on my new video, which is coming very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. And well, thanks for watching. Peace. No, I don't wanna lose you to the night. No, I don't wanna lose you to the house, the drinks, the lights, the smoke, the